What is up my VR bearers and welcome to today's video. In today's video I am super excited to announce the fact that SideQuest Beta has been released on mobile devices. This is absolutely insane as now not only is there App Labs which you can use to get a bunch of SideQuest type games onto your VR headset without a PC, you now have SideQuest Beta, which is an application you can get on your phone in app form, which you can use to get any SideQuest app slash game onto your Quest 2 without the need for a PC whatsoever. With that being said, that is what I'm going to show you how to do in today's video. If this helps you out, please hit that like button and share this video around with any of your friends who do not have a PC but want to get those SideQuest apps. With that being said, let's hop straight into today's video. For starters, what you're going to want to do is get the SideQuest app on your phone. Sadly, at this current date in time, it is only available on Samsung phones and other phones that use the Android system, as Apple phones are just not compatible with SideQuest and ADB debugging in that as a whole are not very ecosystem friendly. So the first step is to open up your app store and then search for SideQuest. You then want to click on the SideQuest and then in parents beta, and then you want to install that. Once that is installed, you're going to want to open up the application. Read through this screen, follow the instructions there, or you can listen to what I say in the video, or you can do both. The first step is to plug in your phone to your headset. The easiest way to do this is to take the USB-C cable that comes with your Quest 2 in order to charge it and plug one end into the phone and one end into the Quest. Once you have done that, put on your headset and you should see a pop-up that appears that'll prompt you to allow access. Click allow access and then take off your headset. On your phone, you should see this little lightning bolt notification appear overlaying across your screen. Put your headset back on and you should see a pop-up that says allow ADB debugging. What you're going to want to do is click allow on that. You can also click that little checkbox that way it'll always allow it for your mobile device. Once you've done that, you're free to go. It's that simple. Your phone is now connected to your Quest. Now, this part does get a little bit complicated though. It's supposed to be just this easy, but since the app is still in beta, it is a bit fidgety. Most apps, if not all apps, are unable to be installed as long as your phone is plugged into your headset. Going over USB-C cables is just not going to work like it does for your PC, you are going to need to connect via Wi-Fi. This was really fidgety and I had a hard time making it work, but you really just got to play around with it. Down in the bottom left hand corner, you can click on that little symbol and then you can do like the connecting thing. What I tried doing is click on allow Wi-Fi or turn on Wi-Fi at the beginning, wait for that to kick you out and then you can unplug and try connecting. It's really annoying, it doesn't always work and there's really no advice I can give you besides playing around with it. You got to plug in your headset, you got to click allow ADB debugging, play around with some of the stuff, unplug, try again and keep repeating until it finally works. Once it works, you should get a little green dot in the middle of your application, similar to what you would get on your PC, but instead of a red dot in the middle, it's a green dot in the middle. Once you've done that, you know you are connected. As you can see on screen, I tried sideloading the Attack on Titans game, Attack on Quest, and it was not able to work. That is because I had my USB-C cable plugged into my phone and into my headset and thought that that could work. It does not work. It said connected. I had the green dot, but it was not working because I was plugged in via USB-C. So you have to be over Wi-Fi in order for this to work. I eventually figured that out and was doing some fidgeting and eventually got the Wi-Fi to work as well. And from there, it's super easy. The downloads and installs can be a bit slow, but it's the only way to do it currently until it gets refined and fixed in some way, shape, or form. Just remember that this application is still in beta there are going to be kinks there are going to be things that have to work out but for now it's the best you got so i would go and give it a shot if you're having any issues please do not create any negative reviews on the google play store or app store where you're getting the app remember it is still in beta so there are going to be issues that they have to work out please do not bomb the reviews just because they have issues they need to work out let them work it out and in time and then once it's out of beta you can give your full review with that being said you'll also be able to find app lab games on on here, these App Lab games, they can redirect you either to an itch.io page where you can download the APK, or they'll redirect you to the Oculus site where you can just download them straight from Oculus. So you can definitely go to this app and check out all of the side loadable applications that the community has to offer. 
And that is going to end off today's video. Hopefully this video helped you out at least a little bit. And if it did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos by me. I try and make as many videos as possible to help you get the most out of your quest too. Thank you to my members. You guys are absolute mad lads. From my little lettuces to my mama bear, your support helps out tremendously. If you want to become a member, all you have to do is subscribe and then click that little join button. You get lots of perks like seeing some of my old videos, seeing videos early, getting suggest video ideas, and getting to, you know, get that fun little badge down in the comments below if you're a common commenter. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye!